All right, today we're looking at the N Brighton. It's a GE brand, uh, looks like Walmart, Home Depot sells them. Uh, very good construction and very good performance. All the reasons why we like a good quality uh, motion or LED light. This um, seems to hit all those marks. Warm white LEDs, not the ugly blue, uh, full dimming capability, motion, um, or you can just turn it on and off without the motion and time delay. Uh, by the way, yeah, 3000K uh, warm, that's pretty warm. Color temperature and double A's, not any of this triple A nonsense, and much more double A's than you really need. It takes six of them. And uh, so we're gonna pull it apart, look at the performance. There's the motion, you can dim it up, of course, with the um, apertures, that's not some on cameras, you know, the brightness is never accurate, but um, it's 300 lumens. They claim 40 watt. Well, anybody knows 300 lumens is not equivalent to a 40 watt incandescent, more like a 30 watt incandescent, um, but uh, still plenty bright for its size and what it does. So you can see we've got two of them here, one complete and one partially pulled apart. Let's give you a shot here. Uh, of the back. You can see some eyelets for mounting. It's got a very nice um, spring-loaded multi-position for laying it on the table uh, for portable use. So they did a good job with that. Nice robust um, springs internal. We'll show you how that works. Your battery lid. As I say, there are six. Two of them go deep inside, so you've got the four exposed plus two inside. They give you the nice little ribbon so you can remove them. Even comes with some hardware for mounting. Good performance and good battery elasticity. Goes for about 24 bucks, a little pricey, but uh, I guess you pay for what you, you know, you get what you pay for. Does have this little cover over here. Doesn't seem to do too much for diffusing. Maybe helps a teeny bit to the sides, but uh, as you can see, it already has a 180 degree diffuser on it. So this might just cut down on some direct, uh, direct light off of it. And uh, very well made and very good performance. You'd like it if you bought it. If you had a need for one, highly recommend it. Let's take a look at the inside of it and look at the construction. So you can see six double A's, none of the triple A nonsense that you don't get much runtime out of. And you've got the room for it. Why not? Um, in this case, you do need to run all six. Um, sometimes they design these things where you can put just three in because they're paralleled. Um, in some cases, they don't even tell you that. In this case, you need, you need all six to, to make it work. Um, that little stand in the back the way that works is there's some little springs, these two here, right there and there, they're on springs, and that's what gives you the nice detents in the back stand. So they did a good job with that. Um, nice little heavy wiring too, the gauge of the wire is probably a little heavier than it needs to be, but that, that's good, good quality. Let's take out the battery here, the battery holder. Let's look at the LEDs. They put it, I mean, just everything in here has got good quality. I took all the screws apart, so you don't have to um, see me pull screws out. So this, this just lifts out, but normally would have all screws on the LEDs and screws on the PC board. So this, you know, this is your shell case. Uh, let's take a look. Batteries are in it. We don't want to short anything out. So um, let's take a look at the LEDs. So you can see these are warm white, and when you get a little bit more experience with these, you could tell just by that they're more of a deeper yellow. Um, phosphorescent coating, as we've discussed in the past. LEDs are blue. Oh, we're not. Are we focusing? I think we're focusing. And um, the more phosphorescent, deeper yellow, the more warm white you're going to get out of it. We're not really focusing well here. Come on, camera, do your thing. I think. Yeah, that's a little better. Maybe we're zooming in too much. Well, that's a, that's better. Okay, good. So the way they've got it is they've got uh, through the power supply and all. Anywhere from about 4.8 to 6 volts comes in, and it feeds uh, two LEDs at a time. So you can see there's uh, two, four, six, eight LEDs. There's only four resistors, so they're going through two LEDs at once through one resistor. One resistor is feeding two LEDs, and they've got that from from 4.8 4 to 6 volts. You know, three per LED, three volts per LED, and that's how they get the uh, the proper voltage. Let's turn this on while we've got it here. Blinding the camera a little bit there. And they, they put a nice uh, substrate on here with aluminum for cooling. So uh, nice job. And then the board here, you've got your uh, your PIR. And if you look, there's a, uh, a little CDS cell next to it. Uh, operation will not come on if it's in a, a bright environment. Um, if you've got it set that way, you can turn it on no matter what and have it be on manually. But that's your, your CDS cell there. 
cadmium sulfate, and then um, your PIR right there, promotion, which uh, goes through the lens in front. Uh, and your ancillary parts on the back. This is a custom chip. I looked it up. Very hard to get data on it, but it's probably it's an all-in-one. Uh, does like what a BIS triple zero one does, plus all the other logic and so forth. And you got your dimming. You have your uh, off in the middle auto, which means it goes through the PIR uh, and timer, and then just on all the time. So for twenty four bucks, uh, it, it's well made and it works properly the way it should. You're gonna get long, long run times out of this with these kinds of batteries in it. Um, they don't really say, but uh, it's, it's long. It, you know, something like this intermittent use could last you many, many months. Uh, it just depends. You can get a year out of it. You could get uh, six months out of it easily. It just depends on, you know, your dimming and your run time and all that stuff. Uh, when, it's, when it's not working and it's in standby uh, PIR mode, it's virtually using nothing from the batteries. So um, it's just basically the shelf life of the batteries. So nice little unit. It's called the Enbrite. Let me give you a shot of what this thing, um, the packaging looks like. It comes in a couple of different versions. There's one, uh, there's one version that's just touch only without the PIR. They charge the same price for it, so that's kind of silly. You're getting much less product. Um, it comes in a chrome version, you know, a, a chrome coating. Um, but yeah, the, the PIR version, what they did is instead of having the PIR here on the bottom, it's just a touch sensor. Uh, with the timer, so yeah, I mean, why not have the PIR in the full motion? Plus, you still have the manual operation and the dimming. To me, that's uh, that's better. Um, so nice light. We just thought we'd uh, show you some of the better ones uh, that are out there. Um, and uh, with these, you do uh, tend to pay a little more, but you, you get a lot more for it. Rather than get one that's all blue looking, doesn't work quite right, has triple A's in it that you have to be constantly changing. Um, Sure, it's a little cheaper, but uh, you don't want them. You wouldn't be happy with them. This is something you could have for a long time, and it, and it works properly. Um, longevity is another thing, but they've got these things where they last almost indefinitely. LEDs are certainly not going to burn out. We know that. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like the channel, give it a thumbs up. We welcome your comments. And uh, we don't get compensated in any way by manufacturers, by the way. This is our own personal choice, what we feel is the best type of products out there that we like. And we present them to you, show you about the uh, internals of them. And um, this way you have a better choice when you go to buy something, you know, you know more about it than just what the package tells you. In which case, isn't always entirely the truth. Well, even in this case, they're saying, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, they're saying 300 lumens is 40 watt equivalent. Nah, it's not 40 watts. 400 lumens is a 40 watt equivalent. It doesn't scale that way, by the way. 600 lumens is not a 60 watt equivalent. You need 800 lumens for a 60 watt equivalent. But down in this range, they tend to be uh, where 30 lumens would be about a 30 watt light bulb, uh, not a 40. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Have a good day.